Okay, so we're going to do a quick little tutorial here on how to resize your images for your video projects. So my video project has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. So in Photoshop, I'm going to go to New File, and I'm going to go over here to Film and Video. And the very first preset that Photoshop gives us is a 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that one and click Create, and it's going to give us this nice blank canvas. Now I'm going to start importing in each one of my pictures that I want to resize to this size um, into Photoshop. So I'm going to go to File, Place Embedded, and I'm going to find the image that I want. So I have mine on my desktop here in the um, PSA Images folder. And so this first one, when I press Place, it's going to put it in the middle of my image. You'll notice that it pops up on its own layer over here. When it first pops up, it has this nice blue X over it. Basically, that's Photoshop asking you, is that the picture that you meant to put in there, and is that where you want it? And so if it's not where we want it, we can click and drag and move it around, or we can resize it, and that's what we want to do right now. So with this little um, bounding box that goes around the edge here, I'm going to choose this middle one. Now, I want both of my sides to equally go out to the edges at the same time, while keeping the aspect ratio. So if I just click and drag this, it does not keep the aspect ratio. It stretches my image. So I'm going to undo that. So I'm going to do Command Z to undo that. I do not want to stretch my image. So what I'm going to do is while I click and drag from this side, I'm going to press the Shift key, hold down the Shift key, and you'll see that now it's keeping that aspect ratio that we want. If I also hold down the Option key at the same time, so I have Shift and Option open, it makes it equally go out on both sides so that it snaps to the edge. So this way it fills up all of the white area. Once I have it to the edge the way I want it, remember I was holding the Shift and Option keys. If you're on a PC, that might be the Shift and Alt key. If you hold both of those down at the same time, get it to where you want it. Photoshop still has that X over the, the image asking it, is that really where you want it? Press Enter on your keyboard to confirm, and the X goes away. You can also click, there was a, a checkbox over here. You could also click that instead of pressing Enter. So we're actually going to do that on the next one. The next image, we're going to put right on top of this one. Now trust me, we're going to make it so these are individual images. But for right now, we're just going to resize them all in one file. So we're going to go to File, Place Embedded again, find our next image, click on Place. It's going to pop up on its own new layer above the one that we just did. I'm going to do the exact same process from that middle handle right there. I'm going to click and drag out while holding down Shift and Option at the same time. Go all the way to the edge. If I want to move it up and down a little bit, I can. If there's some part of that graphic that I want in my frame for the video, you can do that. Press Enter to confirm, or you could go up to that checkbox right there, and it'll get rid of the X. And we're going to keep doing that. I'm going to do two more images. So File, Place, Embedded. I'm going to get my next image here. I'm going to hold down the Shift key and the Option key at the same time. Pull from that center handle all the way out till it snaps. Press Enter to confirm. Move my image up and down. Get it exactly where I want it. All right, one more image. We'll do File, Place, Embedded. Get our last image. And once again, we're going to click and drag from that center handle, Shift and Option key at the same time get it where we want it, and press Enter. Now, if you'll notice, I have all of my images correctly sized on my canvas that is 1920 by 1080 pixels. I don't need this background layer for right now. I'm just going to make it um, invisible by turning off the eye over here in the Layers panel. So I've got my four images, and I'm going to now export them from this one file into make each one of these a PNG file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, Export, go to Layers to Files. So what that's going to do is take each one of those layers and convert them to its own separate file. When you click on that button, this box pops up in Photoshop, and we're going to browse to the destination of where we want these images to go. So on my desktop, I have um, a PSA Images folder where I got my images, but I want to make a new folder called PSA Images Resize. And that's the folder that I want to put my new images in. So I put that as a destination folder. This is the file name prefix. So I'm just going to say PSA image. So my first image will be PSA image 1, so 2, 4, 3, 4, and so on. 
only want the visible layers only. I'm going to have that checked because I don't want that background layer that's not visible. Change my file type to PNG24. You don't need to change any of these and click Run. It's going to take a second. Photoshop's actually going to look like it's opening a couple files and going through there. It's running an automated action. Just let it do its thing. You might get that spinny wheel, um, the rainbow wheel, if you're on a Mac. Eventually, it will say export layers to file was successful. Click OK. And now you'll see when I open up my finder window here and I go to that PSA images resized, I now have all of my images the same size as I preview them. And then you can also see when I click on each individual one of these files, the dimensions are correct. 1920 by 1080, 1920 by 1080, correct and correct. And that is how you can quickly resize your photos in Photoshop. So once again, remember to hold that shift key and the option key as you pull out from that middle handle in the correct aspect ratio and also pull out evenly on both sides so that they um, match up with the edges of your canvas. I hope you've enjoyed this and that's helpful as you create your videos in Premiere. If you like this video and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up and drop a line in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for alerts of when new videos are posted. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy creating.